It's easier to affix your fabric into your book before you start stitching. So the easiest way to do that is to use just a little PVA glue, otherwise known as Elmer's glue. You can just put a little bit onto the spine of your book there and then just kind of rub the edge of the fabric in and then fold it over and try to crease it really well. Now the other thing that you're going to have to do though is you're going to have to trim the bottom and the top, I'm just trimming the bottom here, of your fabric on that spine so that you can also fold that in. And again, you're just going to use a little bit of Elmer's glue to kind of affix that to the book. Now you will need to fold over your fabric so that it's in line with the edge of your page. So that's what I'm doing right here. And then once you've done that, you can get ready to do your first stitch. Now your first stitch is just going to go in from the back. So we've got to open up both the book page and the fabric and then push your needle through so that it's about probably about a centimeter away from the spine of the book and from the bottom edge of the book. And then that should pull through both the book page and the fabric. Now pull it until you have about a three inch tail at the back and then what you're going to do is tie that so that it won't go any farther. So you kind of want to create your knot so that it's right on the edge of the page. Just like that. And then you can do a double knot. So I'm going to tie it again here one more time. And then you might want to trim off a little bit of this edge. I'm just going to go ahead and tuck mine into the space between the fabric and the page. If that's difficult to do, you can kind of lift it up like I'm doing here and just kind of stick that in there. All right, so now I am ready to go ahead and start my stitching. Now my first stitch that I'm going to do, you notice that I'm kind of laying out my fabric so that it's folded along that edge and I'm holding it along the edge of my book. And I'm going to lift up that book page and then put a stitch from the back going forward right next to that first stitch that I made, but about probably a quarter inch away from it. Push that all the way through. Now as you're pulling this up, one thing that you want to do is pull it until you make kind of a loop here. And then you're going to go take your needle through the front of that loop and then that's what's going to create the blanket stitch. And don't pull it too hard but just give it a little tug until it looks right. Okay, so then when you get to the end, or when you're close to the end of the bottom of the page, you will need to fold over the side of your fabric so that it can also be stitched into that corner. So when you have a few more stitches to go towards the end, make sure that you're looking at that fabric and folding it over so that you make a nice corner to uh, stitch. And then you're going to continue with your blanket stitch until you get to the actual last stitch on that corner. So here's my second to last stitch. And then this will be my last stitch. And with your last stitch, you want to find a point that's equal distance from the side and the bottom of that corner and stitch through there. And we're actually going to go through this same hole three times. So this is the first time. And the first time we're going to pull down 
just like we have been doing for our blanket stitch. Now the second time, this will go out to the corner. So we're going to go through, and just like before, we're making the little loop, going through the loop, and then pulling it in the direction out from the corner edge. You don't want to pull this too tight, and if you have to, you might have to kind of pull that fabric back out, or not the fabric, but the uh, thread back out a little bit so that it doesn't pull too tightly there. Now this last time, we are going to pull it to the side. And again, you don't want to pull this too tight, so you might have to kind of readjust your embroidery floss here a little bit. But when you're done, you should have a nice corner that has three stitches kind of all going through that same spot. And then you should be ready to start on your side edge. So now I can do blanket stitches starting along the edge of the book. And there you go.